Hi everyone, Dave here from Terrestre Studios. And I'm sitting out in the yard tonight and I got the, my beautiful corn behind me. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight is I'm kind of, over the years, I've been kind of slowly getting, trying to get more and more self-sufficient. And, uh, you know, with growing some of my own food, having a wood stove, you know, getting wood and uh, having, ample food storage and dehydrating stuff that I grow, things like that. Um, but now I want to focus more on, you know, I've heard a lot of this about food forests. And um, now I'm, I'm only vaguely familiar with the idea, but I think that's where I'm going um, with my plan is um, trying to create some kind of a, like a food forest. So I want to show you guys some of the stuff I've been doing. I've been planting some fruit trees I have more more trees to plant and bushes, um, and I want to share some of my plans uh, on what I'm going to do. So I don't know if it'll be like a full fledged food forest. You know, I'm an older guy, so I don't I don't have that much energy to put into it. But um, I'm going to do what I can, and I think fruit trees are a great way. So I'm going to have I have uh, apples. I have like three apple trees, four apple trees on the property. Um, now I just bought a, a peach, a plum, and we got three blueberry bushes and a pear tree. So we'll have blueberries, pears, plums, and apples. And we also have a hickory tree, so we have hickory nuts. And we have uh, Jerusalem artichokes. So I'm trying to focus on things that will come back every year without me really doing anything. So perennials, fruit trees, um, the Jerusalem artichokes are, they give you like a tuber at the bottom. Uh, the flower is like uh, in the sunflower family actually, but it gives you a nice little tuber. So I'll show you what we got and I'll be breaking those up this fall um, to plant many, many more. So one one tuber you could plant, you could cut up and, and get like, you know, a minimum of four to six plant, four to eight plants probably out of one little tuber. So I can get a lot out of the little, I got like a little washing machine tub full of them. So I'll show you guys that. But I wanna start out by showing you guys the uh, the tractor supply selection of trees. When I went back, they didn't have any more plum trees. I went back to get a plum tree and a pear tree and a couple more blueberries. Anyway, they didn't have the plum, but they had a lot of, I felt that they were very nice trees for the price. Um, probably about almost one third of what I would have paid at a local nursery. So I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, my little experience there at what they had at the Tractor Supply Garden Center. And then from uh, then from there, I'll show you guys around what I have here, what I actually got and what I planted, what I still have to plant and so on. Um, but let's get into it. We'll, uh, we'll go to Tractor Supply. So here we are at Tractor Supply. And I came back because they had the fruit trees, which were very nice and were on sale and much more reasonable than the nurseries had um, had them for. And they looked good and they recently came in. So uh, here's our apple trees here. We are probably going to get another Santa Rosa plum. We have one plum. So these are all apples crab apples okay so the, the uh, down here are the pears I believe yeah here's the pears so we got Bartlett pears which I like Bartlett pears a moon moon glow um, I, I might like a boss pear if I can find one here is a kefir pear I like boss pears are the brown pears I think if I have my choice out of a Bartlett or the Moon Glow, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with the Bartlett. But I also wanna look at, so they have the, pl the plums, let's see. These are all apple. These are apple. Maybe we missed out on the plums. I got one plum. Uh, the other day there's peach ah this might be our plum here 
Oh, that's a Fiji. Fiji apple. We might have missed out on the plums, guys. Okay, so it looks like we're just getting a pair and maybe my, my uh, plum tree will have to be lonely till next year. If, we, uh, if they get them next year, hopefully they'll get them. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a pair and I'll catch you guys when I get it home. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be the Bartlett. And oh yeah, we wanna also get a blueberry. I bought a blueberry bush last time. So we're gonna get one of these blueberry bushes cause we got two at home, two different varieties. All right, we gotta get going. So I'm gonna pick these out and get on the way. So don't mind the yard. It's a mess right now cause I took down a garden fence and I got a bunch of pile of stuff there to burn. It was a, a pallet fence around the old garden, which was over here. But um, we're getting rid of that garden. We're just gonna keep the little herb garden. Here's one of the peach trees that I picked up at Tractor Supply. I have a lot of landscaping to do here, obviously. And uh, that one looks really healthy and really good. There's one of my, there's an apple tree I planted about, oh, it was about seven years ago or so. No fruit this year. I think we had a hard drought and uh, I'm just not sure. I did prune it. It should, you know, I probably should have done some more summer pruning on it, but um, usually if I just do a, uh, one prune a year, I get a lot, I got a ton of fruit off both my apple trees last year. So I guess that's the way it goes sometimes. Anyway, over here, we have the pear tree, which still has to be planted. And this one I got from Tractor Supply as well. And I'm not sure how healthy it is because it could have just been, you know, they take a beating when they go through the, uh, you know, transport sometimes, or it could have gotten a little dried out. Um, but hopefully it's going to be okay. I'm going to try to get that in tomorrow. I wanted to show you um, the plum tree. I got a Santa Rosa plum, and I was really looking forward to picking up another one to have right near it. But um, they were all out of them, and probably one might be enough. They do fruit a little better, I guess, if you have two. Um, but uh, there it is. So I probably won't get fruits from these for two years. If I get them next year, I'll probably pick them off and let the plant, uh, you know, establish itself better and then fruit the following year. Now I want to show you these um, Jerusalem artichokes. Not much to see there now, but um, they have the little tubers on them that you can eat like potatoes. And they're, they're kind of good. They're kind of nice. And that's what's in this wash washing machine barrel right here. And I'm gonna pull them out in the fall and I'll have a bunch of tubers and each tuber can make a new plant, which will give me a, a bunch of tubers the next year. So they make, they make many tubers in there. There'll be, you know, probably 50 or 60 tubers at least in there and the, each one could be cut up. So I'm gonna fill this whole circle, I think with those for the tubers. There's another apple tree right there. This is my best one. And there's another one back there that's kind of in rough shape, but it's still still going to produce. So that's that's that. Let me show you guys um the green beans. So I have the little cornfield. So next year I'll do a lot more um probably winter squash and green beans than I did this year. Oh, here's the three little blueberries that I got. So our nephew Jason gave us this one here on the left. And then we bought these two from Tractor Supply. And they're all different varieties because blueberries do best when you kind of mix them up with other varieties from what I was told or what I read somewhere. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plant those three blueberries down by the plum tree. And for those of you who like flower gardens, I'll give you a quick little tour of this unmulched bed. But we just I just put this bed in this year just with um, what was kind of left around, um, you know, and from the other gardens. You know, I just kind of took a little things from here and there, perennials. 
put a couple annuals in. And most of these are flower beds, but even in my flower beds, I have these, this is all green beans right here. So these are pole beans and I love pole beans because look at this guys. These are at my shoulder height. I don't have to bend down to pick them. You know, most of the beans are gonna come up higher on the plant, although you might find some. Yeah, you're, there's some down here too that are, you know, starting to bloom. So these are just coming out now. But I love pole beans. Yeah, here's a couple here. So you can see they're kind of small still, but they grow really quick. And the more you pick them, the more you get. So that's about it, guys. You know the uh, you know the greenhouse thing. I got my cantaloupes and my cucumbers and my hot peppers and my tomatoes. But every year I hope to, you know, I'll probably not need more fruit trees, although one more plum tree would be nice. And um, I'll fill out this herb garden a little bit more. Right now I just have sage in there. So I'm just going to keep this little bed here. And the rest of the garden I think I'm going to... Um, I'm going to let it go and back to plant it back to grass. And then I think I'm going to do a lot of uh, like just little circles where I'll plant a, a you know, plant a winter squash or something. I do have a winter squash over here. Let me show you guys. So I mix them in, you know, with the flower gardens. I, I have vegetables and flowers. So this is a winter squash. Nothing. I don't see anything on it yet. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope your gardens are doing good or whatever you're growing and whatever you're doing. I hope I wish you all the best. Anyway, um, that's my little bit. I think we should all try to be a little bit more self-sustainable, a little bit more self-reliant. And even if you live in a, an apartment uh, building or, or anywhere, really, you can do little things, you know. You can work on, on your food storage supply. You can work on growing at least microgreens, greens and herbs inside, no problem, um, and much more. I've seen people grow a lot of fruiting plants even inside. So there's a lot you can do no matter where you are, no matter what your budget, and uh, you know I encourage you to do so. So anyway, with that, I'll say goodbye, and until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.